I do think that that's my best case scenario is that he he comes in, he, he's getting playing time right away, game one. And by the end of the season, he's like a solidified, this dude deserves to be uh, a solid second pair D man. And then worst case would probably be what he's in Grand Rapids for like a majority of the season. Yeah. I mean, worst case scenario is he gets his rookie nine. If you're going to call Simon Edvinson up, you're not sending him back down unless he is abysmally bad. And I just don't see that happening with Simon Edvinson. I'm leaning closer to him making the team out of training camp, to be honest, because I'm looking at his competition on this lineup. I mean, obviously, Jake Wallman just underwent shoulder surgery, so he's going to be out. But can he outperform Stephen Comfort? I think so. Can he outperform Robert Haig? I think he possibly could. Mark Pissick just went under Achilles repair surgery, so he's out. So I think that there is room on this in this lineup for him to outperform veterans. I, just because you sign a guy doesn't mean you he has to make the team out of training camp, right? You could very well just say, this guy's not for us, wave him. 